Hello. This big thanks to Mary Nin for writing this book and for this whole series. Please like and subscribe for this video for more. And now to my mom and my brother, Decker and Natalie. Alright, thank you, Connor. So this book is called Gritty Ninja. Uh, not to be mistaken with the kind of grits that you eat for breakfast if you live in the South. But we are going to learn what it means to be gritty today, Decker. Not greedy, and like... it is, as yeah. Connor said, written by Mary Nin, who uh, has given permission for us to read all of her books. And there will be links to some of her materials on my Google Classroom site, as well as some discussion questions. And it's illustrated by Jelena Stupar. Big shout out to her too. Good job coloring, or whatever you do. Don't right, get me Connor, mixed you up. I want to move it closer so that they can see the picture. Yep. All right. Gritty Ninja was the type of ninja that seemed to be good at everything. He wasn't particularly talented at anything, but the one thing that made him spectacular was that he just never gave up. Yeah. But once upon a time, Gritty Ninja was not all like this. When he had the same soccer practice every day, he would become bored and give up. While solving a hard math problem, he would get frustrated and quit. Do you ever feel frustrated? Frustrated too. Me too. I do too sometimes. If he was losing a tennis match, he would stop trying so he wouldn't feel embarrassed if he lost. It wasn't fun giving up on something he wanted to learn and succeed in. After trying a few times and failing, Gritty Ninja just didn't know how to deal with his feelings of failure, so he just gave up. But his outlook on hard things changed one day when... Unplugged Ninja. We haven't met him in his book yet over to practice a new bike trick they saw the day before. They were having fun until Gritty Ninja abruptly decided to quit. But why are you quitting? We were having fun. I was, but I don't like it anymore. Let's do something else. The real reason behind his decision to quit had nothing to do with not liking biking. It wasn't the first time he had this kind of reaction when dealing with something difficult. Unplugged Ninja explained, Giving up is the easy way out. It's awesome when we can learn how to finish something we've started no matter how difficult it may seem. Like and subscribe. When things get tough, there's something I do that helps me. Do you want me to Show you. I use the four C's. Confident. I am confident when I visualize my success. Calm. I stay calm by using positive mantras like I can do this. Carefree. I feel carefree when I face my fear of failure. I do this by asking myself. Is the worst thing that can happen. I answer it, then I ask myself, will I survive? Maybe. Capable. And I am capable of achieving goals. Did you guys know that everyone is capable of achieving their goals? You put it, if you put work to it, yes. Afterwards, Gritty Ninja went inside and started practicing the four C's right away. He couldn't wait now that he had an effective tool to help him not give up and have more grit. He wrote down a goal to participate in the upcoming triathlon. This helped him feel very capable. Then he answered the question, what will happen if you lose? 
After facing his fear of failure, Gritty Ninja did indeed feel more carefree. And he had written that people might laugh at him, but yes, he would survive. The next day, when things started to become difficult at the triathlon competition, Gritty Ninja could feel his throat tighten and become lumpy. He felt like giving up. But then he reminded himself that he was capable and carefree. You can see all the other ninjas that we're going to be reading about. Next, calmed himself down and said out loud, As long as I try my best, everything will be okay. Mm-hmm. Comment down below with book three. He visualized his success, which helped him feel very confident. My cameraman is moving. Maybe there you go. And do you know what happened? I am capable, carefree, calm, and confident. He remembered. It worked. He succeeded and finished his very first triathlon. From that day on, Gritty Ninja could fail at something five, ten, or. 20 times it wouldn't matter the more difficult something was the more determined he was to conquer whatever obstacle he was facing and that is how he earned the name gritty ninja remembering the four c's could become your weapon for growing grit and not giving up and those are her facebook instagram and yeah Thank you, and check out my Google Classroom page for more information.